Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This time around, I'm going to show you how you can get proper motion blur with your action camera action shots without any filters and, well, you're gonna make your videos go from this to this. Oh yeah, that's what we're talking about. Before we go too far in this video, and I don't want to waste too much of your time, full disclosure, I'll be doing this in DaVinci Resolve Studio, so the full version. Now, if you have Premiere Pro, you already have the full version, which is paid, and you can do something similar in that software as well. So it's not just in DaVinci Resolve. But I will show you three ways you can get motion blur in DaVinci Resolve without the use of ND filters and where the stabilization is going to perform as it should. Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. I have two clips for you. Both of them are from the internet. In the first one, this guy was testing out ND filters and shutter speeds in order to get nice motion blur. And in my opinion, he kind of failed on the whole video quality. And then the second video is without any ND filters with a pass shutter speed, and we're going to add motion blur in post. So let's see the first one first. Okay, so here clearly ND filter, low light, way too much blurriness in my opinion. And you will see in the second example when he drives down this hill. I mean, I'm not a mountain biker. I mean, kudos to this guy. But you will see back in the background the highlights, how they're flickering. So let's, let's go backwards and pay attention to the highlights in the background. So like really flickering. And that's typical for ND filters, action cameras, too slow shutter speeds. And here this guy was actually testing out now ND filter test 1 80th and 1 60th of a second shutter speed, which in my opinion for action shots, way too slow. Now let's look at this second video clip. This one is without any ND filters fast shutter speed. And you can actually, if I pause, you can see here on the ground that there's, you know, like, almost no motion blur, you know, but as a result, the video is stabilized quite well. There's no flickering in the highlights. Now let's add motion blur onto this clip and I'm going to show you three ways that you can do it. The first and the second one are kind of the same. In the first one, we're going to add motion blur straight on the clip. In the second one, we're going to add it in the colors page. So in the color grading phase, now they both have their advantages and disadvantages. And then the third option is going to be the most high quality, high I really no, AI kind of feature motion blur, but it is very taxing on the computer. So let's look at the first example. So this is the clip. I'm going to open my effects page. I'm going to go under open effects and search for motion blur. So this guy over here, I'm going to put this on the clip and immediately you will see motion blur appearing. So if I turn it off and on, pay attention here to the trees. Let me close this guy down. So off and on. And this isn't as taxing on the computer as the last version, but you see we now have a bit of motion blur on the ground and well, it just looks, now it looks smoother and faster. You know, it looks like a more fast paced action shot with no flickering highlights. Now you can do the same thing and I'll just delete this one. We can go into the colors page and do the same thing in the colors page. So here I have the one node, this is already graded and under motion effects. So right over here, we can add motion blur. So let's go with 50. I think the original one was, so let's go with 50 and you can see motion blur appearing. So if I turn this off and on, now it's the same thing, the same motion blur as we had before. Now the benefit of one and the other is, well, if you add motion blur onto the clip, you're actually fixing it in. And then every effect on the color grading that you will then add is going to multiply and combine and it's going to make your video editing slower. But if you add this in the color grading phase, so in the colors page, you can add this node right at the end and then just turn it on once you've done everything and your computer will be fast and then now you just turn on the motion blur and you have it. So right before you export the video, just remember to turn it on. Okay, now let's clear this, so no motion blur. And the third option is, well, this one is a bit more taxing on the computer. We open this clip in the fusions page and then we add two effects. Now you don't have to be an expert in the Fusions page, but just click on the media in, shift, space, and type in 
optical flow I'll put the optical flow at this guy. This is going to analyze the video and give us motion prediction that is going to be needed to then add proper motion blur. So the second one is going to be shift space, vector motion blur, and it's this guy over here. And we add this and immediately you see motion blur appearing. Now this one is based on the actual movement of the elements in the front, in the back. If things start moving faster, the motion blur will increase. And if I show you how slow this now works, yeah, this is you know, really hard on my computer, but luckily I did right click render in place and I rendered this clip already. So I have it over here. So you will see how this looks. So this is now with vector motion blur. I think this is as close as you can get to reality and you can see here on the side that you don't have you know, multiple frames one after the other where you no know, motion blur is kind of interpolated but you actually get a nice smooth proper looking motion blur and I think that this is as close as you can get to real life by faking motion blur and well you know the audience isn't actually going to know. So this way you now get a nice stabilized video with no flickering highlights and well motion blur added in post. Anyway that's it I hope you guys found this video interesting I hope you've learned something new if you did hit the thumbs up it really helps with the algorithm and if you're new to the channel consider subscribing my name is Miro and this is what we do on this channel channel a lot. So thanks for that and if you want to stay on the channel then watch last week's video over here. I'll see you in this one. Bye bye.